welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film something a bit different for you. Um, I'm going to do a new in beauty first impressions full face of makeup um, with some new products that I've bought recently. Um, I've waited until now to try them so I'm going to put everything in my face. Um, I've just been to the gym, I just got dressed for the day and I want to put some makeup on. So um, I'm going to look in my little compact mirror so I can see what I'm doing on my face um, and just talk you through everything I'm using. I've got a combination of high-end and drugstore products, so hopefully there's something um, for all price ranges really. So I'm going to start off with this Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, and I'm sure you've probably heard so many good things about this. Um, it's meant to be a really nice primer, and I'll be honest, it is my mum's. I haven't splashed out on the full um, size of this, but I wanted to give it a go and I haven't tried it before, so I thought it could count as a kind of first impressions video. Um, I think this is the full size, but it is quite tiny. How many mils is it? Mm. Um, I'm going to take a little pump. Ooh. It's really, it's really um, liquidy. Right, so I've pumped a bit out of my hand, so if you can see. I'm just going to smooth it on my face. So it goes on quite white, but it feels like a very, very fine silicone. I really like the feel of it actually. It feels really smoothing. Colour wise it hasn't really done anything to the tone of my face but texture wise it feels really really nice and smooth. Hmm. do have a couple little spots um, at the moment just because I was in London yesterday and I think light pollution just gets to my skin quite quickly. The dress I'm wearing, by the way, is one I featured in my um, ASOS big haul that I did last week, so check that out. I will link it down below if you haven't seen that already. So, primer done. And next I'm going to move on to a foundation. I don't always wear foundation, I tend to just stick to concealer. But I wanted to try the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, foundation because I've heard such good things about it and it's meant to just give you like a really flawless face. Um, and I'm using the Beauty Blender, which if you've watched my channel before, usually I use the Real Techniques um, blending sponge, but I've got the actual Beauty Blender recently and really quite like it, so um, I'm going to use that today. I haven't wet it, um, I know that's probably how you're meant to use it, but I just kind of use it dry. Um, so I got a little sample of the Estee Lauder Double Wear just to try it out because I didn't want to get the full size and then find out I didn't like it, because I think I tried the light version of the Double Wear before. And I guess you don't really get double wear for it to be a light um, consistency, do you? So um, we'll see how this goes. And this is the colour sand, because I thought it would be quite a good match for my skin. It already feels quite thick. I'm just going to dab it on the kind of main areas of my face. I already feel like it's going to stick quite well. And just pat it in. It does give really, really good coverage. Covering pretty much all of my freckles, so that's good. If I want them to be covered up, and sometimes I do, I don't always mind it, but I think it's nice to have the option. I'm just looking at it in really, really clear daylight so I can really see everything. And it looks quite natural, I think. Um, I know I look super pale right now, but I'll add some bronzer in a minute. Um, yeah, I actually really like that. I think that's probably the nicest foundation that I've tried for a while, and i found it makes the biggest difference. It is quite similar to the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation, but I feel like this might have a bit more longevity to the skin. Okay, so since... Um, I wanted to try this concealer, I won't go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear on like specific areas because I think you could use it on like spots or under eyes and kind of use it more as like a targeted concealer. Um, but I want to try this and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in, I think it was shade, was well, it 20s, I think it was shade light or sand, it's usually my kind of shade. Um, it comes in like a wand so I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes and or any blemishes. So I was using the um, Urban Decay Naked 
concealer, but I wasn't really loving the match for my skin tone. I had light warm and it was too yellow. But this one I'm hoping will be a bit better. It's kind of going to go to town because why not? Um, and I'm going to put some on my eyelid as well because I do get some redness there. And I'm going to use my fingers to blend it in just to see the quickness if it's any good. Okay, so far it's blending really well, nice and creamy. It matches really well with this foundation actually. It's a nice colour match. I meant to say before I started this video, all I had on was um, moisturiser. Actually, no, not even that. I put on um, a toner. Yeah, I mean, you should really use a brush for this. I might just go in with the blending sponge. I think my skin looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. <laughs> At this stage, I would normally go in with like a setting powder, like a loose powder probably underneath my eyes and frown lines, but I haven't got a new one to try, so we'll leave that for now. Um, some of my favourites though, actually I really like the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Powder, 24 hour matte one, that's really nice, and also the Makeup Forever HD Powder. Um, I really want to try the L'Oreal Mercier Loose Setting Powder, but um, I haven't got around to spending um, the money on it, but one day. Um, so I really like that concealer, I think that is going to be um, a new everyday favourite for me. Right, so next I'm going to do a bronzer, and this is a Maybelline Master Bronze Colour and Highlighting Kit. Um, bit of a weird name, but I need a new bronzer because I'm running low on my Benefit Hula, which I love but isn't the cheapest thing in the world. Um, so I'm going to just take a brush, and I'm thinking, so there's four shades, um, there's kind of like a goldy, see if you can see it in the light, um, a warmer brown, a cooler brown and then a darker brown but they all look kind of glowy I'm hoping it'll give a nice kind of sun-kissed sheen to the skin I definitely need, need of that so I'm going to try and swirl these three first and then see how it goes they're quite um, pigmented anyway I've put fake tan here down not that you can tell yet because it's developing but um, I'm going to avoid bronzing that but I actually really like what it's doing to my face. Oh, see, I forgot to blend this concealer bit in. And the bronze is caught. Especially if my hair's up, I always make sure to go around the outside of my face. Because you don't want a line. You don't want a line where the um, bronzer stops. Okay, so I think my face is looking quite a bit darker than my neck right now, but um, I'm going to try this kind of goldy highlighter shade and see if it makes a difference. That's really pretty. You can see there's quite a lot of glow there. It's actually really pigmented as well. I think it's be really nice on like holiday or on the beach. Try a bit here, see how it looks. We can't see, but it's either quite a nice glow, so really, really impressed with that. Um, and I'm actually going to use them as an eyeshadow. I just thought now, see what they're like because they're such nice brown shades. I tend to go for quite a neutral colour on my eyes anyway. Um, so I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take mm, this one here, it's the kind of coolest tone one, and just put it in my socket line. I'm going to pat it in, and a bit of the gold as well. Mix them together. The brushes I'm using, by the way, are the Party Queen brushes, which I bought from Amazon, and they look a bit like the Zoeva ones, but are a lot cheaper. So, if you are looking for some new brushes, these are actually really, really nice. So, I've just added some definition. 
in my eyes you can see then add a bit more of the gold and then press in the gold actually and see what that looks like that's really nice I really really like this palette didn't think I was going to be so impressed okay so eyes turn I'm going to take a tiny bit underneath for a bit of definition but I'm going to go in with an eyeliner next and if you are wondering why my lashes already look kind of done, it's because I had eyelash extensions um, over a week ago now. They've lasted quite well, um, so all I have to do is comb them every day, um, which is so much quicker than using mascara, and it is one of the best treatments I've had in a long time. Um, I had a lady in my village do them, and she's a mobile beautician, so it's going to be really handy because she can just come to my house and... I can have perfectly done lashes all the time. It just adds a lot of um, thickness and length, obviously without any mascara. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, or read my blog for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of mascara and it's like my favourite um, beauty product. Yeah, I'm really enjoying how low maintenance it is and this gives me more confidence, confidence as well when I'm going to like gym stuff and um, don't want to be wearing makeup. So. Yes. Sometimes I do face kind of weird directions, but um, if you comb them out, and it's fine. And I haven't actually noticed any, like, major um, lashes falling out or anything, so, so far, so good. But I'm going to try and just define them slightly with this NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, definitely a turn on, waterproof, um, golden bronze eyeliner. Um, I'm just going to add some on the outer corners of my eyes and a bit underneath because there's a lot of doing of work and stuff. So I've been leaving mascara off the um, bottom lashes as well just to give it a break. Um, I quite like brown for during the day because I find it more of a natural softer effect. I just quite like the smudgy look underneath the eyes. I'm sorry if you can hear screaming, that is um, the neighbours. They have there's a lot of kids down on my road and their turn, the way they play is they just scream at each other. So um, you know, it's really hot, it's quite annoying because I don't want to like have my window open and hear kids screaming down my street. Kind of making them a bit smudged out. Um, I'm going to wing out the corner slightly. I quite like wearing bronze colours on my eyes because my eyes are blue and I think it makes the blue pop a bit more. This kind of elongates the eyes a bit. And then for my brows, I'm just going to comb them through. I tinted them this morning so they don't look like they need much filling in. Um, I will sometimes use like a hairspray and spray this and it kind of keeps them in place. Um, but apart from that, I'm going to leave them as they are. But now, I want to be honest, I have used it before, but it's a new product and I still want to talk about it. And it is the Cordley Beauty Elixir, um, which is quite a famous product in the beauty world. And it's just a refreshing toner, hydrator, face mist. So I like to spray this on before um, makeup sometimes, use it as a toner, just kind of get off any residue of makeup that I've had on during the day, or I'll spray it on to my face after makeup like I'm about to do now. Um, and even during the day I find it helps to kind of stop everything looking cakey and um, keeps it looking fresh and keeping your skin quite hydrated. So and it smells really good too, it's like peppermint, um, citrus, rosemary, um, yeah peppermint again. It's quite flowery, quite floral but it's really really nice. I'm going to spray a bit of that in my face. And it stops everything looking too, too matte. Um, but it's also kind of stopped anything going in any lines or catching on any dry areas. So the last step of this makeup look is going to be lips. And I've got two new products. I'm going to go for quite a nudie lip today, I think. Um, and this is a Maybelline Colour Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. And I don't even know what shade it is. 
number 10, Nude Whisper. And I saw this and just picked it up on a whim because um, it's my kind of shade. Basically, it's like a nudie pink. So I'm just going to outline my lips a bit. I never really overdraw my lips um, because I think it looks weird on me. But I see people that do it and I think it looks nice. Um, I use it more as a kind of long lasting lip colour and when paired with like a lip balm I think um, it makes a good combination. So it's quite creamy, it glides on pretty easily. I should have said before that the eyeliner also glided on very easily and um, it feels like it will last quite a while, it doesn't feel like it will smudge too much. So, it's quite a brownie shade. But a lot of my lip liners are quite pink, so I think that makes quite a nice change. It's got quite a lot of grip to it. I can imagine it lasting on my lips quite well. I really do think that the Hourglass Primer helped um, the foundation stay in place. Because I'm really, really pleased with how it looks at the moment. I think it went on really nicely. Um, I don't think it would have without that, so... I'm really impressed with the primer and I really want my own one. Okay, so the last step is this L'Oreal Lip Paint Matte in 208 Off-White. Um, a lot of people have this, I think, <laughs> um, from what I've seen on like Twitter and Instagram. So I'm going to give it a go and see what the colour's like. It's very, very pale. It has quite a nice smell, it's not too kind of strawberry-ish. If I pat it in, it will look a bit more natural. So I think that's a really nice colour, it's nice and nude, a lot more cool tone than I'm used to, less pink, um, but I really like it. I think it makes a nice change, quite grown up, and would look very nice with a smoky eye. Um, so overall I really like this makeup look, it's quite bronzy, quite summery, um, still quite fresh and natural, which is what I like. Um, really, really impressed with the highlighter. I really like the bronze shades. Um, the foundation is a winner for me. I think I might have to buy the full size. Um, and the primer, really, really nice and smoothing for my skin. Doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel oily. Um, so I can see this lasting on my skin a long time. For the eyeshadow, I think that bronzer palette made a really nice eyeshadow to use. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really impressed, and the concealer was also great, and love the quarterly mist. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this different video from me. Um, I've seen a lot of these kinds of videos, so I thought I'd film one because I enjoy watching them. Um, but let me know if you tried any new beauty products recently that you think I would like. Um, I am looking for a new cleanser, so any cleansing suggestions, let me know. I've got quite combination skin. Um, so it'd be great to hear your recommendations for that and yeah I will put the subscribe button around here so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me I will see you next week for another video Bye.